Hey everyone, I often get asked a question, what can NGUI do when it comes to retina displays? Can NGUI support switching from a standard definition atlas to a high definition atlas? And the answer is, yes it can. And this is how. Generally, what you want to do is create a high definition atlas and a standard definition atlas. Likewise, you will want to create a high definition font and a standard definition font. Or several fonts, if that's what you want. You will also want to create another atlas and font that will actually act as a reference for the other two. What this means is that uh, when you're creating widgets, you are going to be using this reference atlas rather than HD or HD atlases. Likewise, when creating labels, you will be using the uh, reference font rather than the HD or SD font. Creating them is simple. You just create a brand new game object, call it uh, main uh, atlas, for example, and you will want to add UI atlas script to that object. When you do that, you have an option of specifying the atlas type right here. You will want to specify a reference and then just save it as a prefab and you will be good to go. Same thing with the font. One other thing that you will want to do is you will want to select the root and disable the automatic checkbox right here. You will also want to set the target height for your device. This is the screen height. So for example, if you were targeting a device with a height of 480 units, you would put 480 here. But in my case, I'm going to keep it at 400. Disabling the automatic checkbox essentially means that the UI will always be of this height, even if it changes. This means that your UI will actually scale with your screen height which is exactly what we want for switching from HD to SD and vice versa. Anyhow, let's move on. You can see that I actually have a label and a sprite, well, a slice sprite in the scene right now. I created this sprite and label exactly the same way I would if I was using a regular atlas. Using the widget tool, I just uh, chose uh, a template, for example, a label, color for it and just say add and there's nothing to it. Now the only difference here is that uh, for the atlas I've specified the reference value which technically doesn't actually have anything inside of it but since it references an existing atlas that does have sprites and values inside of it those are the ones that actually get used so what the reference atlas actually is, is essentially a placeholder for something else. There is one other thing that uh, has to be changed though. Since the screen resolution doesn't change, and the sprites actually do change in size, and technically when the atlas changes, it also means that uh, the sprites become bigger on the screen which is not exactly what we want to happen. In order to fix this, simply select the HD Atlas or SD Atlas and set up the pixel size right here. Since I use the SD Atlas to create uh, my layout, I'm going to shrink the HD Atlas. Since the HD Atlas is twice the size of an SD Atlas, all I have to do is specify the pixel size of half or 0 0.5. Compared to an SD Atlas, pixel size here remains at 1. Now, of course, if you were creating your Atlas using the HD Atlas to begin with, then you would do the opposite. Instead of specifying 0 0.5 for the pixel size here in the HD Atlas, you would leave it at 1 and instead specify a value of 2 for the SD Atlas. What it will essentially mean is that uh, 
the pixel size for the SD Atlas will be twice as big as the pixel size for the HD Atlas, which effectively means that the SD Atlas will be stretched in order to accommodate for the resolution change. So, moving on, how does it all work? Well, quite simple actually. When switching Atlas and fonts, the first thing you'll want to do is switch the Atlas. So select your reference Atlas. In this case, I have it referenced in the SD Atlas. And I'm going to just drag and drop the HD Atlas. After this, I'm going to select the font and specify HD font by drag and dropping. That's it. Now my scene is actually using the HD Atlas and font. Just to illustrate the change, I'm going to zoom in a bit. This is the HD Atlas. And I'm going to reverse the operation. And this is the SD Atlas. Quite a difference, right? Same thing for the edges of the sprite. See the edges? Select my atlas, go into HD. Ah, much better, right? Just don't forget to switch the font afterwards. Now, granted, this is not something you're going to be doing by hand just by drag and dropping. I did that simply for uh, illustration purposes. What you will want to do instead is have a script that uh, will set the atlas dynamically at load time or startup time in your application, depending on the screen resolution of the device. But the functionality remains exactly the same. Set the atlas first, set the font second. And that's it.